Welcome to Mendeley video course. You are watching video number 30, Editing Citation Style, How to Manipulate Access Date in a Web Page Reference. In this video, I am going to show you how can we manipulate access date in a web page reference. Let's go to editor.citationstyles.org. I have chosen some style here. I call it XYZ. I have chosen the access date in a web page reference here. So it says cited and then the date. This cited also is a term sometimes can vary from journal to journal. Some people may ask as accessed. Okay. So then you can just go here and change the term accessed. Sometimes you may want to capitalize the first letter that you can change here. In lower case, instead of that, you can choose capitalize first. Sometimes they say it has to be accessed on with the colon. So how do we achieve that? Usually accessed on as a standard term is not there. So in such instances, you go here. Instead of choosing term, you can choose value. The moment you choose value here, essentially, you can write whatever you want. And you put the colon and the colon also comes back. Is that okay? The next thing is to change the date. Currently, it's in the format year, month and day. And that's usually the case. Some journals want it exactly the reverse, that is day, month, and year. How do we achieve that? I don't see that option straight here. The way to do it in that case is, so this is the date here. I will add node. I'll get a date part. Go back to date, add one more node, another date part go back to date, add one more node, I'll get three date parts. Now in the first date part, it is year, I'll change it to day. In the second one, I'll change this to month. In the third one, I've made it as year. Now, I go to date here and instead of text, I'll choose empty. The moment I do that, this date part gets deactivated and the parts which I have added becomes active. You see this 15 December 2002. Uh, there are no spaces, so it doesn't look that great. So I'm going to go to first day, add a space there, month and add a space in the suffix. So now it looks very nice, 15 December 2012. If you want to make the month shorter, you can do short. Now it says 15 this 2012. Now this is how you can manipulate the access date in a web page. Let's say some journals want this whole access on so and so to be at the end after the URL. How do we achieve that? So let's just try and click here. You can see here, this is what is highlighted. If I click this group, this is the whole group, the whole expression with the brackets. Let me click available. Again, this is there as a group. Okay. All I have to do is take this group, drag it and drop here. When you do that, you have to be careful, but when you do that, you will get what you want very, very clearly. Is that clear? So to summarize, in this video, we have shown how to manipulate the access date, the terms cited versus accessed, and how do you change the position of this access date. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add publisher place or year in a web page reference. Thanks for watching.